everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha, and this is Pips of Future Highlights. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a location profile field as well as the location in your posts, which will be available when you add the Google APIs and enable the location in the configuration. The configuration I'm talking about is located here in Pipso configuration, then location, and you can enable or disable it over here and enter the Google Maps API key. And this Google Maps API key is the point where things are starting to be complicated because this Google console is not really user friendly. You need to find your way around it, okay? And it was confusing for me at first before I figure out how to use it. And I'm going to show you how to use it too. You will need a billing account before you can use this feature. So you will need to uh, add your billing information into Google Cloud Console. And I'm going to show you how to do that before you even start enabling this location integration with Google Maps. All right, so let's get started with it. Google Maps used to be free, but because many people started using it, Google decided it's a great avenue for monetization. So they started charging for the service and you will have to create a billing account for in order to use Google Maps API. And to do that, simply go in here in navigation menu and click on billing. Once the billing page is open, you will see all of your billing accounts your will most likely be empty because you don't have any. I created this one for the testing purposes and I will use that one. But for the purposes of this video, I'm also going to show you how to create your own. So you are going to do that by clicking on this button, create account. You can give it a name, give it a country and your currency and then press on continue. On this next page, you will be able to enter all of your uh, details for the billing and tax information, if you wish. Uh, now, tax information is a required field for the businesses. But if you don't have a business, if you are an individual like me, you can enter any random string of numbers here for the tax identification number, as well as company registration number also random string of characters. They even give you an example. You can copy this example if you wish. Then submit and enable billing. Now come back to your WordPress dashboard. Go to Pipso configuration, location, and then enable the location. Save the settings, but it still won't work because we need to set up the Google Maps API key. To do that, we will click on this link over here, which will take us to the Google Maps platform and we can click on get started. Now Google Maps platform will automatically know what we want to, what we want to do. So we want to give our new project a name. Let's call it Pipso TV Maps. Now organization is not needed because uh, it's all, it only serves for the better organization of your, of your projects within the Google Cloud. If you have only one project, organization is not really needed. So we are going to simply click on create. And now Google Cloud will uh, start working its magic and creating our API keys. It's going to take a while. Uh, billing, here it is. You will see flashed for a little bit. Now, billing is automatically uh, assigned to this, uh, to, to, to this project. And this is our API key that we are going to copy and paste here into the appropriate field. Okay. But there is a slight little problem with this setup, because if I leave it as is right now, you can simply copy this uh, API code as well and then use it on your own website. And that is a problem for me because I will be billed for something that you use and I want to prevent that. Okay, 
In order to prevent abuse of your Google Maps API key, you will go back to the Google Maps platform and then check these two boxes and click on go to Google Maps platform. Now wait for this uh, uh, pop-up window to open and don't close it. Here, you will be able to protect your API key by selecting an HTTP referrers websites from the, from the uh, dropdown and enter exactly like it is written here. So it's uh, star dot pipso tv actually pipso dot tv slash and restrict restrict the key okay now i'm successfully restricted my api key and can only be used on my own domain if you ever need to change these restrictions, you can do, go to the credentials link here in the Google Maps platform. Click on your Maps API key. And then you can select the restrictions over here. You can change it back to none or you can add more referrers over there. And finally, save your configuration. Now let's explore our website for a while. Let's see what's different. Obviously, the first, first thing that comes to mind is the location icon that is available when you create a new post. So because I'm not sharing my location with this browser, it cannot find my exact location. But if you share your location with the browser, it will use that to, uh, to, to locate you more accurately. I am from Novi Sad, Serbia. Or do I need... Let's try it like this. He found it. Okay. I can choose this location right now. Or... I can uh, go to my street directly and say, let's say, this is my actual street where I live and it will find that street. I won't give you my number. That will be too much personal information, okay? But you can, you can do it if you wish. And you can even choose completely different location. Let's say this New York. and choose that one. Let's say I was there in, in New York and I want to, you know, share some images maybe. Let's upload some photos. This one, these are obviously not from New York, but you, you'll catch my meaning. You know what I want to say. So now I'm going to post these four images. Say, hello, YouTube. And just to make sure that the location is selected. And then I'm going to post this new update with the images and the location that people, that people can see. So you have some flexibility when creating a posts with a location. You can either share your current location, uh, you know, if, you, if you're making a post uh, in real time, saying you're on some event and uh, you want to emphasize that. Or you can, you know, create a completely different post with the location where you were previously and emphasize that location with your post. Also, when you enable location integration, a new profile field will be available in your profiles. So we need to go to the profile and then about section and all the way at the bottom, there will be a location field where you can share your location with, with others. So let's edit it. Enter the location name. Let's say Novi Sad, Serbia. Select that one and save it. So now when people see, when people come to my profile, then 
they can uh, click on my location and see the map where I am. You can naturally disable this uh, option in WP Admin. Go to Pipso Manage. Profile fields. And this new button will, uh, this new field will be available here where you can enable or disable it or even change some validation like being required field, privacy and appearance. If you want to know more about the profile fields and how to manage them, we have the entire feature highlights episode regarding profile fields and I will link that episode in the description under the like button, okay? And that is all I have prepared for you in this episode. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget to follow us on social media, we are present there as well. Links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best with your websites. Bye!